Good morning. Currently reporting from a Best Western Plus parking lot. <laughs> I am in Pittsfield, Massachusetts today and we're going to meet someone very cool. Met Paul Cantarella in New Hampshire at the MCA convention. Masonry, Mason Contractors Association of America to be more precise and we're friends on LinkedIn now and Paul shares so much cool information about masonry, about the work, about the tool he uses, about efforts to talk about trade in schools. I've learned a lot from just being his LinkedIn friend, so I thought why not reach out, ask him if he's willing to do a video to talk to us about him, his job, why he works masonry, why he loves it, about the family company. So we're headed there right now and we're gonna do a little a day in the life of Paul or two hours in the life of Paul. I didn't wanna, you know, take his whole day. So let's go there. <laughs> Hello guys, I am with Paul Cantarella Jr. of Cantarella and Son. The favorite thing I have in my office is probably, it's a tie. It'd probably <laughs> be my hard hat collection, <laughs> which I've had, I've had an obsession since I was a kid with hard hats. I always made sure to have my father bring me one home. But he used to make me mad because I'd come in to my play box in the morning and then my father would steal it because somebody needed a hard hat on the job. And I can remember crying many times because he took my hard hat. Even as I got older, I had to start pulling the liners out of the inside of them because my father was stealing them out of my <laughs> office for people that needed hard hats. My second best thing is probably my Easy Route Shrine here to no. Damien Lane and Easy G where I have some <laughs> signs, memorabilia and things. Awesome. Where are we going? Today. We're going to go to our job at Williams College uh, in Williamstown, Mass. at our, the new Science Center. I have my Kodiak steel toed boots, really nice Cantarella and Sun hat, my best. We're going to go visit some work sites. We're going to come over here to our first major project when our company split. Okay. And this is the Target. My favorite store. This is pretty far up there on my list of uh, maybe one of my favorite jobs. This is definitely close. Um, this was a big job for us again when we started off. I put a lot of a lot of heartache and effort into this one. I can uh, I can assure you that. My grandfather started CNS Company in 1934. Throughout the years, his two sons joined him. My father and my uncle. My uncle has three boys. They're uh, older than me. They joined into the company. Okay. Um, as I came up, I joined into the company. We had started a second masonry company back in the day. Uh, we have Cantarella and Son, which okay. was started in 2003. And we have CNS Company, which was my grandfather's original business started in 1934. Okay. So, which is still alive. Kicking. Paul, can you tell us where we are? We are at uh, Williams College New Science Center in Williamstown, Mass. And what are you guys doing here? We are today, we are starting to erect our winter deck for winter time, and we are getting ready to start the stone base this week. Okay, I'll follow you. working on this wall and we had to stay late because my uncle would make us stay late to join. He'd have everybody lay up until 3.30 and the bricks were really didn't suck up a lot of the water so we remember having to stay late and uh, to have to finish the jointing off and I remember I tried telling him one time I had to be somewhere and he told me time only matters in a horse race. Are you proud, Paul? Very proud.
Have I always known I wanted to work masonry? Yes, I have. I think at a young age, I can always, I always remembered wanting to be with father, my father along or try to go with the guys in the trucks when they go to make deliveries, deliveries to the job site. My mom would always tell me, you know, it's, you don't have to uh, get into the trade. You can go do anything you want. You do not have to do it, but I love what I do. I don't can't imagine doing anything else. I honestly don't know much else, so I probably couldn't do too much <laughs> of anything else. Uh, it's that's all I live, eat, and breathe masonry. That's all I can say. What's your favorite part about it? It's twofold for me. One was always the people I've met. I've met some great people along the way that I honestly still uh, in contact with um, throughout the years. And I think the second part is what a lot of people will say is driving by a job that you've done. And at this point in my life, I can drive in a good radius around here and there's always something that, you know, I had my hands on or, or we, some of our guys have had their hands on. What's the project that made you the most proud in your career? That's the one would have been my, uh, it was my high school. We got to go back and renovate my high school. It's a bittersweet one for me because it was also where I lost my mother, but it was probably by far my best job ever and I don't think anything will ever top it because it was just it was pretty cool to be able to get into my own school and, yeah. and be proud to do that. If you could say something to your team what would you say to them? To my team I have to tell them man I, I, I give them a lot of credit for the safety that they have to do a lot of people don't do it they have taken in that safety is is what we have to do and it's worth every every minute it takes to do it to keep everybody going home to their families at the end of the day. They always say when when nobody's looking that's when you know that's when it shows who you are and I feel like these guys do it when I'm not around they they still do everything. They don't wait for me to leave and then change their attitude. Could say something to 20 year old Paul about the job you're doing now. What would you tell him? Um to, to relax. <laughs> and to take some deep breaths because tomorrow's still going to come and everything does happen for a reason. I firmly believe in it and it's, I've had a lot of sleepless nights that I don't think we're, we're, are worth it at the end of the day. So Paul, Paul is driving so he will watch the road, but could you tell me three things I should know about masonry? Uh, let's see, first thing about masonry is anybody in the industry, um, you're going to find are great people. That would be the first thing I definitely realized is uh, the, just the, the friendships I've made and just just good people and whatever for whatever reason people in Mesa are good people. Um, number two, I feel this this industry is one of the things that you'll get more out of it than what you put in. So I feel like the more you put into our industry, the more you're going to get out of it uh, at the end of the day. And the third thing is. Masonry is probably one of the best products uh, out there. It's the to, oldest. To, and the oldest to build with. And I, it's time tested. Masonry is bottom line. Uh, lasts more than anything. I always ask one question to everyone I film What's your favorite dessert? Oh, man. <laughs> right now, at the farm behind my house, they got cider donut whoopie pies. Oh, my God. Uh, I was at my lightest weight ever this year racing my dirt bike and literally my pants are almost hard to buckle. And that's only been for the last two months they've had. So that's probably my favorite dessert. Cider donut whoopie pie. Thank you, Paul. Thank you for taking the time and I will see you in Vegas. 2020. Bye.